Hello everyone, um, today we are going to be doing part two of the diesel heater testing with a quiet pump. Um, let's see if that modification makes the heater quieter and then we'll draw some conclusions at the end. So let's get to it. This is the packaging for the pump that arrived. Ordered it from AliExpress, so just going around to see if you, any of those model numbers might mean anything to anyone if they were not going to order one themselves. Um, I can always put some stills up of that if required. But this is how the pump actually looks. You'll see the body of it is actually quite a bit bigger, which I'll show you in a second. So we're back with the heater itself. Now, I've already actually fitted the pump. Just going to draw in close so you can hopefully see it. Uh, I'll get the model number in, in a second. One thing that did stand out, you'll see that I've now got a, a definitive loop of fuel pipe up here. The pump itself, the body of the pump, is much larger. Um, I'll just bring in the original part that came with the heater. And I'll try and get in a bit closer to this one, just so you can see. The actual body of it is quite a bit longer. So, for this test, it's going to be fine. We'll just bend that pipe into place. Um, if it's going to stay on there, I think I will shorten this poly pipe on top. So as you can see, it's all fitted in the same place, same electrical connector, nothing's different on there. So all that remains really is to pop the lid back on, make it a fair test and get everything going. Now the Mercedes is, sorry to say, it's looking a bit sorry for itself at the moment, it needs a good clean. I need to get on doing that project. I've got lots of uh, bits and pieces to do, new brakes, some suspension arms, lots of other bits and pieces. So we'll get onto that soon, I promise, but um, let's carry on with the video. So we're moving on, we've put the lid back on, secured it all the way around with the screws. Now it was a bit snugger than it has been due to that pipe that I mentioned earlier. I think if I'm gonna actually use it, this pump in there full time, I'm gonna have to make some changes to the length of those poly pipes just to make it fit a bit better. But I have got the lid back on, Unit's powered up as you can see, and I'm powering the unit off the Mercedes battery uh, for the time being so we can do this test. And I imagine I'm going to have to reprime this because it's a fresh pump, so I'll push the auto prime button and see what happens. Well, interestingly, I think the prime noise is slightly quieter than it was. Try and start it up. The heater itself is running. So we'll let it um, warm itself up and then we'll see what it's like when it's running, producing heat and what noise it makes. So the burner has now started, so it starts to produce heat in a minute. We'll open the garage door. To get the exhaust out. I have to say in warming up um, initially it doesn't seem any different to the the original pump to be honest but we'll see what it's like when it actually starts producing heat. As we've seen with the original pump it seems to quieten down as it gets up to speed. Now we'll let it start producing heat properly in the same way as the other one did and we'll see if it actually makes any difference. Okay, we're fully up to speed now. I'm going to come and stand in the similar position I did before so you can hear the pump noise. It's actually pretty low in comparison to the actual fan noise. It is there. I'm not sure there's a big advantage between the two, if I'm honest, at this stage. I mean, they all seem to quieten down when they're up and running, they've got plenty of heat coming out from the front of the thing. One thing I have noticed is a difference. In the last video, if you've watched it, you'll see that um, at the beginning, I was pluming smoke everywhere. Now that could have been me over priming the system, quite possibly, um, and it did settle down, but this barely smoked at all. So I've got the garage door open, so don't worry about fumes. But yeah, there's just something I've noticed. Now whether that could well be me, so that might be misleading, so. I'll have one more walk around. So 
So conclusions. Um, I've got to say with testing, I don't think it's really worth buying the quieter pump. I think the modifications we made made the existing pump quieter itself. I didn't really notice any major difference. You might be able to tell that on the video itself. So all in all, I would say no. It's probably handy to have a spare pump should you need one, but I think they're easily obtainable anyway. However, that's um, yeah, that's that's about it. I think the modifications worked. The quieter pump, not so much, is, is pretty much my conclusion. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.